girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I'm finally reviewing some very highly requested curly hair products by Curlsmith. This brand right here, you've probably seen all over Instagram giving girls amazing wavy, curly, and spiral results and their line has such great ingredients. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I applied all of the products in the Curlsmith collection, and I'm happy to say that these are now available at Ulta Beauty. I am partnering with Ulta Beauty once again, so thank you Ulta Beauty for sponsoring this video and sending me all these amazing Curlsmith products because you guys have been begging me to review these. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you all the products that I got from Ulta Beauty. I have this co-wash, I have a reactor spray, I have a balm, I have a souffle, I have an oil and cream, I have, oh, one more, one more uh, intense treatment serum. We got a lot of stuff to go over, so let's get started. Now the first thing that I want to say about the Curlsmith line is that all these products are sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. They're vegan, certified organic, and cruelty free. So since I know how important that is, I'm really glad that this brand also respects what us curly people need. Because we have so many products to go over, this is actually gonna be a two day routine. So I'm gonna show you how I wash my hair on day one, how I style, how I go to sleep, and how I refresh in the morning. The first product I gotta show you is this big baby right here. This is the Curlsmith Curl Quenching Conditioning Wash for extra thirsty, curly, wavy, or kinky hair. So basically, this is a co-wash. Now, if you aren't familiar with a co-wash, co-wash is a two-in-one combo combining your shampoo and conditioner into one. Now, to be completely honest with you, I have never liked co-washes. Every other co-wash that I've tried, I feel like wasn't cleansing enough to be a shampoo, but also didn't detangle well enough to be a conditioner. So I've really been kind of anti-co-wash until I tried this one. Finally, for the first time ever, I love this co-wash. It really cleans your hair and it has amazing slip for detangling. Let me show you. So here's me in the shower starting off with dry, dirty hair. And this does have a pump nozzle on this large 32 fluid ounce one. So I'm gonna pump a couple pumps into my hair and really start to massage it into my scalp. This co-wash also smells really good. It has shea butter, organic coconut, it has organic avocado oil, torn sage, basil, black pepper oil, a bunch of really great organic ingredients and you could tell from the amazing smell. So when I use my co-wash, I start off on my scalp to make sure it's really nice and clean. And then I kind of skip to what would be my conditioner part by splitting my hair into two sections. I'm applying some more of this co-wash and smoothing it down my end. And look at this. Look how fast and easy it detangles. If you have curly hair, you know how important it is to find something that is really good with detangling. We need that nice slip so our hand slips through our hair. And this co-wash does an amazing job with detangling. If your hair is really, really tangled, I would recommend applying it all to your hair and letting it sit for like at least three minutes, you know, start washing your body shape, whatever else you gotta do in the shower, and then come back and it'll be even easier to detangle. But as you can see, I detangled both sides of my hair with ease. There is no bubbling sensation, no foam, but no worries because that actually just means there's no harsh chemical sulfates that are stripping the natural oils from our hair. So it's a really gentle, lightweight, yet hard working formula that removes buildup, dirt, and leaving your curls nice and easy to detangle. So hands down, this is the best co-wash and only co-wash that I love. So now that we're out the shower, it's time to style these curls. Curlsmith has a very unique line of products. They don't have your average like shampoo, conditioner, gel, leave-in, you know, they have very unique names. For example, they have the Curlsmith Conditioning Oil and Cream, and they also have the Curl Defining Styling Souffle. So you might be thinking like, what's an oil and cream? What's a souffle? Is it a dessert? No, it's actually for your curls. So the curl conditioning oil and cream is for extra thirsty, curly, or kinky hair. And fortunately, right on the back of all the bottles, it explains exactly how to apply it, which I think is so important. So it says how to enjoy this leave-in conditioner. So basically, even though it's called an oil and cream, it's a leave-in conditioner that you would apply first before your other types of stylers. So this product, oh, smells so so good. So as you can see here, I am starting on damp hair and I'm going to start off with a little bit of the curl conditioning oil and cream. You will see it's super 
thick. Anytime I apply a product, I like to smooth it down my hair, rake it through, and scrunch it back up for definition. I do this on both sides and my bangs. After our oil and cream is now in place, I'm then going to grab the Curl Defining Styling Souffle. This is also for extra thirsty, curly, or kinky hair. And so as you can see here, it has a very unique texture. It's not really like a gel, it really is a souffle. So it's like this googly consistency. Yes, googly is a word. So when you apply this product, you want to rub it in your hands, kind of letting it melt between your fingers, and then once again, I'm going to smooth it down my hair, rake it through, and scrunch it back up for definition. So that's how I apply my product on day one. Now I'm going to let this air dry till it gets to about 85% dry, and then I'm going to diffuse. So now I'm back once again when my hair is a little bit more dry, and as you can see, my curls look very defined. The souffle does leave a little bit of a cast, which I prefer, because I need a little bit of that light crunch to diffuse so my curls don't get frizzy. So now at this point, I'm gonna grab my diffuser and I'm gonna diffuse upside down to create more volume and also to break the cast. After I was done diffusing, you'll see that my curls look fabulous. They're so soft, so defined, and there's absolutely no crunch anymore. So if you're someone that's worried about your curls being hard, stiff, or crunchy, this souffle does not leave a hard crunch when you're done diffusing or scrunching it out. The next product I have here is the Curlsmith Full Length Density Elixir. It's for hair that looks thicker, denser, fuller, and healthier. So this is actually a blend of different oils, including castor oil, cedar oil, witch hazel, pea sprout, lavender oil, amla, soybean, thyme, clover, and green tea. But my favorite thing about this oil is that it doesn't have a strong smell. Sometimes those natural essential oils are like, whoo, like extra strong, but this one, it doesn't have a scent at all. And that's amazing. Especially because you're supposed to apply this on your hair overnight. So what I do is before I go to bed, I get my little dropper like so, and then I apply this whole amount to my scalp, adding a little drop here, a little drop there, and then I'm going to massage it into my scalp so that it can really- Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. I've been looking for this eyelash everywhere. <laughs> Let's just put that away. Okay, where were we? Then I'm going to massage it into my scalp so that it can really penetrate and do its thing. So you mean to tell me that all I have to do is apply this to my scalp and then go to sleep and then it's going to do all the work and make my hair thick and full? <laughs> of course I'm doing this. So this bottle is supposed to last you a good full month. So take a good look at my hair now because I do want to continue to use this every single night and then I'll come back in 30 days. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee so you could see what this really did for my hair. So now it is day two. I have my hair up in a pineapple. I did go to the gym this morning, so let's see how my curls look. Pretty darn fabulous. I love when my curls could just fall back into place, the whole point of doing the pineapple hairstyle. And as you could see, it really kept the nice definition on my curls, even while I slept and went to the gym. So that's very important. So my curls don't look too bad right now. When you do have a really good day one, it makes a really good, easy, refresh day. So for the first time, I'm actually gonna try refreshing my curls without using any water. I'm gonna grab the Curlsmith Moisture Memory Reactivator Spray. So this is for curly, wavy, or textured, or dry hair. It's supposed to refresh, soften, shine, revive, and also protect your hair from heat and the UV rays in the sky. This refresh spray has organic avocado, wild aloe vera, torn sage, basil, organic apricot, and resurrection flower. So as you can see here, I have like some little parts that just aren't really that cute. So I'm gonna grab my refresher spray, spray it all over my hair, and really scrunch it back so my curls get more defined and get rid of any frizz that might have been caused while I slept or went to the gym. So now that I've got the spray all up in my hair, I do wanna try another product just because I'm really curious. This is the Curlsmith Hold Me Softly Balm. This is a lightweight styling cream that's supposed to create bouncy definition without weighing down your hair or having any crunch. It's supposed to smooth and scrunch the product on damp hair. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm finding any curls that might need a little bit extra love in or a little bit more moisture, applying the product in my hand, and then smoothing and scrunching it all throughout my hair. Because this is such a lightweight, soft product, I think this might even work even better if you have wavy or looser curls than I do. After I let my curls dry for just about 30 minutes, then I grab my diffuser once again to make it nice and big. 
And the last Carl Smith product that I want to show you guys that you don't have to necessarily use every day, just kind of like on an as need basis, is the Carl Smith Intense Treatment Serum. As you can see, it's really, really thick and a little goes a long way. So it starts off looking like a pomade, but once you rub it together in your fingers, it turns into an oil. So what you use this for is if you have any little straggler curls are a little bit frizzy or your ends feel really dry or maybe you have some flyaways on the very top of your head, that's when you grab a little bit of this treatment. And there you go. That is how I use all of these Curl Smith products. I am definitely glad that I finally tried these and I'm so happy that I have another line of products that I can recommend to you that are sulfate, paraben, silicone free, vegan, cruelty free, and organic. What Curl Smith product is your favorite to use on your curls? If you've already tried these, leave a comment down below and let us know your curl type and what is your favorite Curl Smith product. If you haven't tried any of these Curl Smith products, which one really caught your attention today that you're probably gonna go out and get right now? Thank you once again to Ulta Beauty for sponsoring this video. I love shopping at Ulta and getting everything from makeup, skincare, or hair products all in the same spot. And they have a huge selection of products, including ones with amazing ingredients like Curl Smith. If you enjoy my curly hair product reviews and tutorials, there's many more where that came from. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. So make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. You also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. That way you can see what products I'll be reviewing next. And you also can get a little update on how this full length density elixir is working on the fullness of my hair. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Oh,